Countdown. Tanya. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi YouTuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Tuition online percuma. Tuition online percuma. Layari www.academy youtuber bagi mengikuti tuition online secara percuma. Pra sekolah, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah. Semua ada di Akademi Youtuber. Rujuk jadual di laman sesawang www.akademiyoutuber.com Semoga masa terluang anak-anak anda diisi dengan sebaiknya. Tuition online percuma, mestilah Akademi Youtuber. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Saya Cikgu Wan Rohana dari Akademi YouTube bersiaran secara live dari channel Cikgu Kok Simai. Baiklah, kita mulakan dulu kelas kita pada petang ini dengan bacaan buku kitab Al-Fatihah. Al-Fatihah. Amin, amin, amin ya Rabbal Alamin. Alhamdulillah, bersiaran kita sekali lagi di dalam kelas tuition online Akademi YouTuber yang juga merupakan kerjasama EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Kelas kita pada petang ini ialah kelas fizik SPM. Jadi sebelum kita teruskan kelas kita, ingin saya ingatkan kepada semua pelajar dan penonton yang ingin menghantar komen untuk menggunakan bahasa yang sopan sahaja dan profil yang bersesuaian untuk tontonan umum. Sila fokus kepada isi pelajaran yang akan disampaikan oleh Cikgu Kok Si Mai sebentar lagi. InsyaAllah semoga kelas kita pada petang ini boleh dimanfaatkan sepenuhnya oleh para pelajar. Ambillah peluang dan ikutilah kelas online secara percuma ini. Saya perkenalkan dulu ahli konti kami pada petang ini. Kita ada Cikgu Kok Simai sebagai presenter. Ah, kat mana tu? Ah, sebelah. Okay, sebelah. Kita ada Cikgu Hasnita sebagai control house. Ah, di bawah Cikgu. Di bawah Cikgu juga ada pemerhati iaitu ia Cikgu Hidayati Tahir. Ah, dan Cikgu sendiri ialah Cikgu Wan Rohana sebagai moderator pada petang ini. Uh, sebelum kelas kita bermula, saya ingatkan link CJ penyertaan akan diberikan di hujung kelas ini nanti dalam ruangan chatting. Sila ambil perhatian bahawa link tersebut akan tamat dalam tempoh setengah jam selepas sesi live. Jadi siapakah presenter kita pada petang ini? Beliau adalah Cikgu Kok Si Mai bertugas di SMK Sain David Melaka dan kini mengajar mata pelajaran fizik dan sains SPM. Tanpa melengah-lengahkan masa, mari kita ikuti kelas online yang akan disampaikan oleh Cikgu Kok Simai secara live. Dipersilakan. Okey, terima kasih. Saya ucapkan kepada Cikgu Rohana sebagai moderator pada uh, petang ini. Okey, selamat sejahtera saya ucapkan kepada anak-anak murid, guru-guru uh, yang menonton secara langsung ini Uh, dan juga ibu bapa yang sentiasa bersama anak-anak mereka untuk mengikuti uh, pelajaran online ini. Okay, terima kasih banyak-banyak saya ucapkan kepada anak-anak murid pada petang ini. Okay, so ini merupakan uh, kali pertama saya live uh, kat uh, IU Akademi YouTuber okay, bersama dengan belajar kelas yang fizik. So sebelum tu ialah Cikgu Hasnita. So ini ialah kali pertama saya nak share uh, pengalaman dengan pelajar yang dikasihi. 
Okey, sebelum saya nak meng, uh, memulakan pengajaran saya, biar saya memperkenalkan saya dulu. Okey, nama saya. Okey, nama saya ialah uh, tadi Cikgu Rohana dah uh, sebut nama saya Koksimai. Saya berasal dari Perak, Ipoh. Okey, sekolah yang saya sekarang mengajar adalah SMK Tinggi St. David kat Melaka. Okey, pengalaman saya mengajar mata pelajaran ni sebanyak 14 tahun. So, hari ni saya boleh guna pengalaman sebanyak 14 ta tahun ni. Saya nak share dengan budak-budak uh, tentang apa yang dah mengajar dan belajar. Okey, so first saya nak tunjukkan ni dulu. Okey, ini ialah format-format soalan SPM. Uh, sebelum tu, Cikgu Hasnita pun ada tunjuk kepada para belajar. Dia uh, ada tiga kertas, kertas satu, kertas tiga. Lepas tu semua adalah 190 maka. So yang hari ni saya nak fokus ialah kertas tiga. Okey, kertas tiga yang bahagian B. Okey, bahagian B ialah uh, laporan. Okey, amali untuk eksperimen. So ini uh, mengambil dua belas maka. So yang ini uh, kami nak tengok macam mana untuk menjawabkan soalan untuk bahagian B ni. Okey, sebelum untuk men meneliti dengan soalan tersebut, kami buat sedikit analisis. Okey, anda boleh tengok analisis SPM amali kertas 3 dari 2015 hingga 2019. Okey, yang ni uh, semua belajar tahu tak? Kami ada dua pilihan kan untuk soalan eksperimen ni. Kami ada Uh, kertas, uh, sorry, kami ada uh, tiga, soalan tiga dan soalan empat. Okay, so soalan uh, tiga dan empat ni mesti um, satu ialah form four, satu ialah form empat. So, pelajar kena pilih lah jawab salah satu soalan. So, soalan tiga mesti ialah form four punya soalan. Soalan yang keempat mesti form five punya soalan. So, kami tengok yang untuk form four punya topics. Okay. So uh, kat sini cikgu biasa je lah kat sekolah ajar dengan uh, bahasa English. So kat uh, live ni saya akan guna duit bahasa lah. Kadang-kadang saya akan masuk uh, BI juga. So harap belajar boleh faham. Okay. So the first one introduction normally they don't have any question about the experiment. Okay we start with the chapter 2. Chapter 2 is a force and motion. Okay so from here you can find it. Selang seri, dia akan keluar soalan secara satu tahun Lepas tu dia akan kosongkan Lepas tu tahun se seterusnya akan ulang So anda tengok force Force dia empat tahun tak keluar Okay, tapi dia 2019 uh, Dia baru keluar dengan force and pressure Okay, lepas tu anda tengok heat Heat pun sama, serang satu tahun 2016, lepas tu 2017 tak ada 2018 ulang lagi sekali. Okey, lepas tu yang penting anda tengok chapter 5, light. Light adalah sepanjang 5 tahun tak ada soalan. So, pelajar kena concentrate untuk topik light. Okey, kemungkinan dia akan keluar untuk tahun ini. So, belajar. So, ini ialah form 4 punya analisis. Okey, kami tengok yang seterusnya iaitu yang tingkatan 5. Okey, tingkatan lima anda boleh fokus the first one, wave. Wave pun sama. Kami ada lima tahun pun tak ada soalan wave. So, pelajar kena berhati-hati dengan topik, uh, subtopik ni. Okey, wave. Okey, lepas tu anda tengok electricity. Juga sama, selang satu tahun dia akan keluar soalan electricity. Then, electromagnetism also same. So, every one year, they split. After that, next year, they will come out again. So, for here, I can tell you, for the Form 4 and Form 5, Form 5, we just got three topics. They got experiment. Okay, hanya tiga topik ada amali experiment. Yang dua topik, electricity dan radioactivity, the other experiment. So, from here, untuk Form 5, anda lebih senang untuk fokus. Okay, so from here, Uh, hari ini saya nak terangkan tentang ialah uh, gelombang. Okay, soalan yang lama tak keluar selama lima tahun. Okay, so from here today we go through to the chapter wave. 
Okay, from here, I will show about the question. One of the question from 2011, dah lama, 2011. So we go and see how to answer this question. Okay, so first one, I want to introduce the question three and four about the format. So every student, when you just answer the question, you must remember the format. You cannot jump the format. Okay, we start with the inference. So inference, I take one marks. Okay, satu maka untuk inference. Okay, kedua ialah hypothesis. Okay, hypothesis juga satu maka. Okay, then the rest is a design the experiment. Okay, design the experiment, that means later you need to explain how to set up the experiment. So this one is 10 marks. Okay, jumlah 12 maka. Okay, belajar faham? Uh, boleh kan? So, uh, kalau boleh, saya akan teruskan. Kalau cepat belajar boleh teks kat chat, uh, chat room tu. Beritahu saya, saya cepat, saya akan slow down. Okay, so from here, I will go through to the next part. Okay, so from here, I will show one of the question. This one question from the 2011. Okay, I will read for the BI version. Okay, diagram 4.1, they show about the boy that tapping the surface of the water. Okay, then with the both his feet simultaneously. Okay, 4.2, they show the boy. They will repeat it. Okay, but ulang. His action with his feet is further apart. Okay, so from here, from these two sentences, you can find it. They just want to explain further apart. Okay, kelakuan yang sama. Dia ulang. Tapi, dia letak dua-dua kaki dia lebih jauh sikit. Okay, so this one is from the question. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram. Okay, this one is a diagram. So we find it, the feet. Okay, first diagram 4.1, the feet is closer. Second diagram, the feet is further. So this one is the first different. Okay, pertama punya perbezaan. So we go to highlight. Okay, we show first. Okay, so from here, we need to find out the second difference. Why we need to find out the second difference? The reason is we need to find out the responsible. Uh, sorry, it's a, a variable. Okay, pemboleh ubah. Anda nak cari dua pemboleh ubah, baru boleh create experiment. So from here, we find the first one. Distance between the feet. Okay, the second one. Okay, anda tengok ni. Okay, the second one, this one, we call it is a anti nodal line. So from here, we got two nodal lines. So we call it distance between two anti nodal lines. Okay. So this one is a, another physical quantities. Okay. So from the diagram, we find it when the feet, you go further, then the distance between two anti nodal lines is shorter. Okay. You can say inversely proportional. Suppose there's a relationship. Okay, so this one is what we understand from the diagram. So sebelum anda nak start soalan, anda kena uh, faham dulu. Faham dulu apa yang gambar memberikan information kepada anda. So selepas anda nak jawab soalan, lebih senang sikit. Okay, so we go through the next part. Okay, so dia ada terang lagi. The boy that notice that the his feet are further apart, then the distance between the ribs become less. Okay, ini ialah apa yang dia boleh nampak. Jarak kaki semakin jauh, dia nampak riak riak air berkurang. Okay, so from here we need to find out what is the MV manipulate variable, what is the responding variable. Okay, come, we go to write out. Okay, the first one is MV. Okay, so the MV from the question, there's a jarak kedua-dua kaki. For the responding variable, there's a jarak antara reak-reak I. Okay, this one is what I get from the diagram. Okay, when you do the experiment, okay, when you do the experiment and you write your report, when you write your report, can I write kedua-dua kaki masuk? Or you write reak-reak I in your procedure? Boleh ke tak boleh? So I repeat my sentence. If I using uh, the distance between two feet and also the river 
in the procedure. Is it okay or not okay? Okay, student, you can answer me. So any student can answer? Tak ada jawapan lagi ni. Oh, kami tunggulah. <laughs> Mungkin lambat. Cannot. Okay. Lambat. Lambat sikit. Ada orang jawab kan? Uh, cannot. No, not okay. Ada yang jawab cannot. Okay. Bagus. Ada yang jawab okay. no. Okay, thank you. Uh, belajar Yong En. Suppose is cannot. Okay, we cannot answer all in the diagram. The other boy, other lelaki, other kaki. Uh, this all we cannot put inside the experiment. You just can put inside the inference only. Okay, inference you boleh kata apa-apa yang ada dalam diagram. Tapi untuk hypothesis start until the end. Tak boleh. Okay, uh, bagus. Ada banyak belajar jawab no. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, now we continue to see. Uh, the question, the format, how to follow. Okay, so the question, the first one, sure, we'll ask inference. Okay, the second one, sure, they ask hypothesis. So this one is, I, everyone is one mark. So we're going to see the first one, how to answer inference. Okay, let's see the inference. First one, you need to find out. Okay, find out what? We find out two things. First is a different from the picture. Okay, just now we found already, there's a two things. From the picture, there's a difference. Okay, now we're going to see the second one. Okay, the second one is a cause and effect. Punca dan kesan. Okay, so from the diagram, can you tell me which one should be the cause? Okay, the boy, uh, the feet is further, is a cause, or you say the distance between anti node line. Mana je lah punca dia? Okay, ada sesiapa boleh jawab? Okay, kami tunggu sekejap. Okay, which one will become the cause? From the boy or from the uh, the water? Okay, distance of the feet. Ada belajar jawab kan? Ada jawab ni distance of feet. Uh, the distance between two feet. Okay, ada uh, Chua Jani, dia answer hmm. distance of the feet. Okay, correct. Distance of the feet, that one is a cause. So the effect should be the another one. Lah. That means the distance between the anti the line. Okay, so from here, ini je lah macam mana nak cari inference kan dia. Okay, so we're going to see the inference. How to write the sentence. Okay, we got the format how to write the, in, uh, the inference sentence. Okay, so you must start... Uh, MV or RV first. After that, we go to depends on. Okay, normally, we want to mention MV first or RV first. Manipulated first or responding dulu. Okay, ada belajar terus bagi jawapannya. Okay. Chong Kuan. Chong Kuan bagi jawapan tu. Okay, Chong. Ah, dia bagi jawapan dia. Okay, distance between anti nodal line is depends to the depends between the feet. Okay, distance between the feet. Okay, so this one is accepted because there's an inference. You still can say about the feet. Okay, kalau ini je lah hypothesis. So feet tu tak boleh diterima. Okay, ya, faham ah? So we go and write what depends to what. So suppose is R V depends to the M V. RV je lah anda tak boleh control. So, dia adalah berkantung kepada uh, manipulate variable. Okay, sorry. So, ini je lah uh, BM and BI version. So, biasa inference kami tulis macam ni lah. RV responding variable dia akan berkantung kepada manipulate variable. Okay, faham ah? So, if finish, then I need to show this, uh, this question how to write the inference. Okay, so from here, we lock two physical quantity first. Distance between two consecutive anti node line, there's a responding variable. Then the manipulated variable is a distance between two vibrating sources. Okay, vibrating object. 
So don't mention the feet or you go to mention the water. No. Okay. Kami mesti guna terms untuk masukkan eksperimen buat uh, apparatus dia. Tak boleh kata kaki ke atau lelaki. So from the hypothesis, remember, we just using uh, the important word. I mean the word for the, uh, when you do the experiment. Okay, now we go to complete the sentence for the inference. Okay, the sentence is distance between two consecutive. Okay, later I need to explain the word consecutive. Okay, anti nodal line depends on the distance between vibrating sources. Okay, so I want to explain consecutive. Consecutive, the meaning is per to root that. Okay, you can see the diagram here. I go to zoom. Okay, this one is the anti node line. This one is a, another anti node line. If I never say consecutive or you tada mention per to root tan, maksud dia anti node line pergi yang ketiga anti node line pun boleh. Pergi yang keempat pun boleh. So that means we need to mention is consecutive. Yang per to root tan. The first one and the second one. Okay, so kami tak kata yang ketiga, keempat. Kami nak first and second only. So that one we call consecutive. So ini sangat penting. Kalau anda lupa tulis perkataan ni bermaksud anda punya responding tak betul. Okay, so ini ialah satu benda anda kena beri perhatian lah. So you must add consecutive anti nodal line. Depends on the distance between two vibrating sources. So kami sudah lock MV dan RV. So sepanjang eksperimen ni, kami akan guna dua ni, physical quantity. MV dan RV sampai habis. Okay, ada belajar juga akan tanya. Saya sudah tahu distance between two consecutive antinola ialah X dan ini ialah A. Bolehkah saya guna X dan A dah? Jawapan dia, boleh ke tak boleh? Uh, belajar boleh jawab. Boleh saya terus guna A dan juga X dah sebagai simbol. Okay, senang je. Pelajar hanya jawab boleh atau tak boleh. Tak ada lagi yang jawab ni. Ah, kami yeah. tunggu sekejap. Ah, cannot. Ada yang jawab cannot ni. Chong Kuan cannot. Okay, cannot. Tuah cannot. Uh. Ah, betul. Semua bagus. Ah, sebenar tak boleh. Kerana kami sebelum tu kami tak pernah memperkenalkan apa A atau apa X, kami tak boleh guna dia. Anda masih nak guna nama penuh dia. Okay, sampai bila kami boleh guna, okay, nanti akan kena, akan tunjukkan bila kami akan gunakan simbol dia. So, inference tak boleh guna. Okay, hypothesis kami tengok boleh guna ke tak boleh. Okay, we go to next part. There's a hypothesis. Okay, hypothesis anda kena ada MV dan RV. Okay, anda kena nyata dua benda ni. Then must be measurable. So you must mention two of the physical quantity that can be measured. Okay. So from here, just now we lock already MV and RV. So that means we can apply the hypothesis. Okay. Before go to apply, we're going to see the format. How to write the sentence. Okay. Sentence dear, like this. Okay. What increase or you say decreases. Another one increase or decreases. So that means you put the MV and RV. So from here, I need to ask the student, kalau kami ikut sentence macam ni, so we need to mention RV first atau MV first. Okay, biasa kami terang mana dulu. Okay, you can say you want to mention manipulator first or you want to mention the responding first. Okay, belajar boleh jawab. You just type MV or RV only. No need to write the full sentence, full words. Okay. Okay, MV will start first. Ada belajar dah jawab. Okay, kami tunggu ada banyak lagi. Ramai jawab ni, semua jawab MV, MV ni. <coughs> oh, bagus. 
sebenarnya kami memang mention MV dulu kerana MV ialah yang kami control punya. So we just mention your manipulated variable uh, increase or decreases then what happen for the responding. So that mean kami cakap dengan punca dulu. Dengan punca ni. So apa kesan dia? Okay. So ini is how to answer the hypothesis. Okay. Now I want to show for this question the hypothesis how to write. Okay. Bagus. Ada belajar juga uh, jawab dengan betul. Okay. So for this question. Okay. The answer. Okay. For the Malay. They find out MV first. So we, we answer by MV. Jarak antara dua garis anti node perturutan. Remember the word perturutan. Bertambah apabila jarak antara dua sumber yang berketah berkurang. So we mention MV, then we mention RV. Okay, then you see the English version. So English version, you also can be terbalik, but the sentence you need to change. So from this one sentence, they got word S. Okay, dia ada satu perkataan S ke belakang. So they mention the RV first. The distance between two consecutive antinodes like increases as the distance. Okay, so master, distance between two vibrating sources decreases. Like this also can. Okay, so depend your sentence how to write. If you want to mention the MV first also can. You just say when the distance between two vibrating sources decreases, then the distance between two consecutive antinode line increases. Also can. That one is depends how you write your sentence. Okay. Untuk yang senang, kami hanya hafal satu format dan cukup. Okay. Boleh ya. Sampai hypothesis. Belajar masih boleh ikut. Okay. Masih okay kan. Uh, kalau okay, saya akan teruskan the next one. Okay, kami tunggu respon sekejap. Okay, ada belajar dah jawab soalan. Okay. Boleh. Belajar dah jawab kan? Okay. Uh, jawab okay. tu uh, boleh, okay. Uh. Okay, okay. So <coughs> I will teruskan the next one lah. Okay, ini ialah dua maka for the inference and hypothesis. Okay, then we go to the next one. Continue the question. So they say with the apparatus such as, okay, this one is a one of the part to let you to guess upper experiment untuk soalan ini. So when the question just mentioned river tank, Okay, with two deepers. Okay, understood. River tank, we just got one of the experiment they're using river tank. That's a water wave. Okay, kami hanya uh, gelombang air. Gunakan tangki liak as an experiment. So from here, this one is one of the hint. The, the question actually, they want to help you. If you see pendulum, pendulum, that means there's a, one of the question about pendulum only lah. Okay, if the question they give you hexo blade. So hexo blade, then we understand there's an inertial experiment. So this one is a sum of the question you need to read before you go to start. So from here, this is a one of the hint, river tank with two deepers. So that means later when you write the apparatus, you need to mention this one. Okay? Because they already give you. So you need to answer, write this uh, apparatus. Then others, they ask you to mention the others. So the others mean you need to add from this one river tank how to function. You must have electricity, is it? So electricity, then we must use it, power supply. Okay, this one is another things. Okay, another one is you want to measure your MV and RV. That one both also is a distance. So both also distance. What apparatus we go to use? Student, okay? Semua ialah jarak. So kami guna apa radas untuk ukurkan jarak. Okay, tengok belajar boleh jawab tak? Okay. 
Tak ada jawab lagi ni. <coughs> ada soalan tanya tu ha. Okey. Ah, Nur Fahad dah tanya live ni nanti kena rekod ke untuk tengok next next time. Next time uh, for revision. Ada rekod tak? Ah, uh, uh, siaran ni boleh tonton bila-bila masa saja. Ah, pelajar boleh ulang semua. Tengok yeah, je. Ya, kami boleh ulang untuk tengok repeat lah untuk uh, hmm. video ni. Okey, ada belajar dah jawab kan? Ada meter rule. Okey, bagus. So, meter rule ah. memang uh, penting kerana dia boleh ukur tentang jarak. Okey, so ini ialah uh, uh, alat yang uh, radas yang penting. You anda mesti mention ke apparatus. So, we go to see the apparatus. Okay, sorry ya. Belum masuk apparatus tadi jelas saja. Okay, so from here we go through the uh, design of the experiment. So design of the experiment, the first one must be the aim. Okay, belajar ikut format lah. So the first one is the inference, second is the hypothesis. So number three, now we start with the aim. Okay, aim. So we go and see the pattern, how to write the sentence for the aim. Okay, aim. Anda mesti mula dengan untuk menyiasat hubungan antara what and what. Okay, for the English version, okay, I tunjuk semua dulu. To investigate the relationship between, okay, MV or RV also can, no problem. Anda nak mention manipulated dulu atau you nak mention responding variable dulu pun tak apa. So, just the sentence like this only. So, anda kena hafal format dia je lah, mula dengan to investigate the relationship between, okay. Lepas tu, anda... Copy yang tadi punya MV dengan RV masuk ke dalam. Okay. So, inilah contoh untuk aim. Okay. Untuk yang ini, kami boleh terus masuk. So, this one is a MV. This one is a RV. So, the full sentence. To investigate the relationship between. Okay. Distance between two vibrating sources and distance between two consecutive anti-nodal line. So, ini ialah satu sentence yang penuh untuk tujuan. Okay. Harap belajar tak ada masalah untuk tulis uh, tujuan ni satu makam. Okay. So this one is the answer. Okay. To investigate relationship between the distance between two consecutive anti-nodal line and the distance between two vibrating sources. So ini ialah Uh, are we? This one is a MV. So, anda nak terbalik, also can. There's a no problem. Okay, aim. After that, we go through to the next one. The next one should be variable. Okay. Anda kena ikut turutan. Ha. Anda jangan uh, macam budak saya, dia ada tulis uh, variable ke atas. Aim ke bawah. Lepas dia letak arrow. Ha, letak arrow ni macam ni salah. Okay, jangan buat macam tu. So, anda kena ikut format dia. Start with the aim, then it's a variable. So, variable kat sini dua maka. So, we can see how to get two marks. Okay, kami ada MV, manipulate variable, responding variable, bergerak balas. On the third one should be the constant variable, dimalakan. So, yang ini tiga benda macam mana nak share dua maka. So, from here we can see A and B, they just share one marks. So that means either one you are correct, another one you are wrong, you also cannot get the full marks. So physics tak ada half mark lah. Kami tak ada separuh maka bagi you, no. Okay, we get is one mark. So both you must correct, then you baru dapat satu maka. Okay, then the next one should be the constant variable, also is one mark. Okay, later we're going to see how to write the constant variable. Okay, we go through to manipulate and responding first. Okay, manipulate variable. Just now we mentioned already. So we just write the answer. Distance between two vibrating sources. Then I put comma A. Okay, why I want to put comma A? Okay, because just now I told you cannot using A, is it? So from the inference, hypothesis, until variable, anda masih tak boleh guna symbol. You just can introduce the symbol until variable. So when you just introduce the symbol for A, what is that? Okay, the following. Let me example the next one is a table and also the graph. Uh, that one you can mention A already. So they never minus your mark. So remember, 
we just can using the symbol after variable. Okay, important you need to introduce what is your symbol. Okay, you cannot intro. You check up under knee, then you comma, then you put the A. Then I know this one, A is what meaning. Okay, understand? Then we go to the next one, responding. Okay, responding variable, I also give the full sentence first, then I give the symbol. Okay, there's a distance between two consecutive anti nodal line, then comma X. Okay, so I introduce my symbol already, then the next part, I can using the symbol. Okay, don't let the markers to minus your mark. Okay, remember, inference hypothesis anti variable still don't using the symbol. Okay, then we go through to the next part. Okay, now we go to write the constant variable. Okay, just now I say I want to mention constant variable. Okay, constant variable must be the thing can be measured. Okay, example, just now we say about the uh, distance, that one distance can be measured. Don't mention type journeys. Okay, type of the meter rule. Okay, this one we cannot measure. What means of the type? Okay, type of the ruler. Uh, like this, we also cannot accept it. So, jangan guna jenis. Okay, or another one is a size. Size is too open. Okay, size untuk uh, jarak antara dua anti note line. No, size. You must mention very detailed. Size is a distance or you say about the length. Uh, that one is uh, important for constant variable. So, benda tapak di, uh, di ukur. Okay, so from here, just now we say about A and X, is it? So, we know there's an equation for the wave interference. So, from here, I create the equation. So, equation sudah dikreatkan. A dengan X menjadi relationship. So, A and X become relationship. The rest, lambda and also the D must be become constant variable. Okay, normally the experiment, they will depend from the formula. If you've got formula, that means got relationship, then we can create the experiment. Okay, now we're going to see A and X become physical quantities for the experiment. So that means constant variable, we got lambda and also D, but don't mention lambda. You need to write full sentence. So from here, you can see, okay, D, D panjang sikit, jangan malas, tulis penuh. Jarak antara sumber dan kedudukan di mana X diukur, comma, there's a D. Okay, or you can say panjang kelombang. Or you can say frequency. Okay, that one will become one of the constant variable. Okay, for the BI version, distance between the sources and the position where the X measure, then comma, there's a D. Or you can write with flag. Okay, from here I find out. Uh, Janin, give me the answer is correct. That's a wave flag. Okay, the next one you can say about the frequency. Okay, frequency also correct. So this one can be the constant variable. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, the next part is a uh, practice. Okay, alat dan material ya. Yeah. Nah, ini tadi ada cakap. What they mentioned in the question, we need to write. Okay, just now Johnny answer that's the correct wavelength. Eh? Okay, so from here, we need to continue for the apparatus. Okay, just now they give you one, they want the river tank. So you need to write here. So you need to add the others. Okay, the others means you must base on the diagram and base on your MV, your RV, all the apparatus you need to mention. So, bermaksud, radas yang anda nyata tu, kena boleh ukur, manipulate variable, dan juga responding variable. So, uh, if you never mention the apparatus, then means you cannot function. The experiment cannot function. Okay, jika anda tak nyatakan radas tersebut, bermaksud juga eksperimen tak boleh dijalankan. Karena tak ada benda untuk ukur. Okay, betul lah. Eh? So from here, I go to show what apparatus we need to use. Okay, first one, you might have power supply because you want to switch on your river tank. So this one, river tank with two spherical dippers, this one is copy from the question. 
Okay, after that, the important here is a troboscope. For any question about the river tank, that means for the water wave, we must using troboscope. So anybody here, you know what's the function for troboscope? Okay, we just mentioned the function for the troboscope. Okay, you see the question can answer or not? What's the function for the troposcope? Okay, ada belajar jawab? Ada lagi nih. Bus minit dua lagi kok. Lambat sikit lah. Chong Kwan. Stroboscope to freeze the wave. Bagus. Ni jawapan dia. Okay. Because the wave, they keep vibration. Okay. Dia asyik bergerak kan. So, berketar kat sana kami tak nampak dengan jelas. So, what we can do, we must using the troboscope to freeze the motion of the wave. Dia mesti pekukan dia. Baru kami nampakkan dia, lepas tu kami boleh sketch pada screen. Lepas tu baru ukur guna meter root. So inilah function for the troboscope. So from here, if you just forget to mention troboscope, but you got draw, it's okay. Masih betul. Kalau apparatus anda tak mention troboscope, then the diagram you also never mention. Then the procedure you also never mention using troboscope. So that means the whole experiment, they are not function. So that means the teacher can just mark for the uh, inference until the uh, the variable, then the rada sudah tak ada maka, then the rest we don't need to mark already. Because you don't have anything to support your experiment. So until now, until the end, you also cannot get the result because you know, don't have any troposcope. So ini ialah keyword anda kena mention kat dia punya apparatus. If you forget to mention apparatus, you got draw. That's also okay. But you got mentioned for the procedure, they also okay. So this one is a very important word, troboscope. So and the last one should be meter rule. Because meter rule they use to measure your MV and also RV. Okay, so ini ialah cara untuk menuliskan radas. Okay, hopefully student understand eh? for the river tank must mention troposcope. Okay, so this one is a troposcope. Okay, the diagram for the troposcope. You go to rotate, after that rotate until the frequency almost the same. Then after that you can see the uh, the wave become freeze. Okay, bagus kat sini. Okay, use to study the frequency by the uh, freezing the wave. Okay. Then we also got student, uh, Faiza also answer, correct? Okay, beku dan rambatan kelombang air. Okay, bagus. So we go to the next part. Okay, the next one must be the diagram. Untuk lukis, jelah repetan. Okay? Okay, so we go and see uh, for the drawing, how to get the marks. Okay, the first one, you need to draw and label. So, ini lah diagram dia. Okay, belajar make sure your river tank got land. Okay, after that, they must have the water. Okay, this one is a troposcope. Then you must have the deeper. Then join with the power supply. So, power supply, you don't need to draw. You just draw, then you write. Then bottom must have the screen. Okay, meter rule you want to show, don't want to show, is okay. Okay, so this one is a diagram. So make sure you label. If not, we don't understand what you draw about that. So ini ialah yang penting untuk radas. Kena lukis dan juga label. Okay, seterusnya soalan dia. The procedure of the experiment will including one method of the controlling manipulate variable and one method you need to measuring the responding variable. So from here, you need to mention manipulate variable for your procedure. You also need to mention responding variable for your procedure. So kami tengok macam mana nak jelas ni untuk dapat tiga maka. Okay, let's try. 
Okay, this one is an example. For manipulate variable, if I say, okay, I put 0 0.2 kilogram of the water into the beaker. So 0 0.2 actually, there's a one of the thing to mention manipulate variable because you mention what's the value. So when you just mention the value, that means you get the marks for manipulate variable. Okay, responding variable a little bit hard. Okay, lebih susah untuk tapa makan ni. Kerana kami nak nyatakan beberapa terms, lepas tu baru measure. Okay, we need to mention uh, some of the terms. Then the last one, you go to measure how to get the responding uh, the responding readings. So, and the last one is a repeated. Okay, repeated satu maka. So, at least you need to repeat how many times? Four value. Okay, example, I say 0 0.2 kg. Then I repeat. Okay, repeat empat kali. Kena nyata empat kali punya value ialah apa. Okay, example 0 0.2 kg. Then the next one 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.0. So, that one is an example for the repeated marks. Okay, jangan hanya kata repeated four times then finish. Okay, macam ni tak ada markah. Anda kena nyata yang empat repeated je lah apa. Okay, you mention that four times actually is what. Then you can get the marks. So this one is total for the three marks. Okay, then we go through the actual answer from this question. Okay, the first one, everybody must write. This one is an introduction. Walaupun tak ada makalah. So the apparatus is set up as above diagram. So your diagram must be draw, then you write this one. So you no need to explain lagi. Macam mana nak sambung wire, macam mana nak letak air, no need. So you just mention this sentence for the first procedure. Okay, the second one, okay, the distance between two vibrating sources. So this one is a MV. So I mentioned the MV to CN. So this one is a manipulated max. Okay, so from here you can get one max for the MV. Okay, now RV. RV got a little bit hard. Okay, you see I mentioned how many they can get RV. Eh? Number three, I go to mention switch on. Switch on penting. Walaupun you letak power supply, you tak ada switch on, you be experiment, tak boleh jalan. Okay, so from here you must mention switch on ataupun bekalan kuasa dihidupkan. Okay, not yet, lah. not yet get responding. Lah. We need to continue. Okay, we continue to the next part, number four, troboscope. Now your troboscope must be used to freeze the wave motion. Okay, perkataan penting, troboscope. Okay, untuk buat apa? Bekukan gerakan gelombang. Okay, then still not yet got responding marks. Okay, then we go number five. Number five is the distance between two anti node lines. So this one you can using X already. You no need to write the full sentence. It's okay. Distance between the X is measured using the meter rule. Baru anda tapak responding punya satu marka. Ah, uh, that one is I say very hard to get the responding marks. Okay, must mention the three things, then you can get it. Okay, then the last one must be repeated. So the repeater, you just say I repeat. Okay, four times is it? So you need to mention that four times is what? Okay, we got four, six, and eight, then after that, ten. So that means total experiment, I got five reading. So you got five reading, that means you can plot the graph. So although you just mentioned three, then we minus you one mark. Because the rules must be minimum four set. Okay, some student ask, if I say six set, boleh? Seven, boleh? Boleh. Minimum is four. So you repeat the 7, 7, 8, 9, 10 also can. Okay? So this one is how to get the last procedure marker. Repeated. Okay, so we finish the procedure. So any question? Because the, I will just left uh, 10 minutes only, is it? Okay, the last? Ada soalan nampak ni. Lajar okay. kalau ada soalan boleh tulis di ruangan komen. Hmm. Jelas. Jelas tak? Jelas kok ni. Tak ada soalan ni jelas lah ni. <laughs> no. Okay. 
So saya teruskan dengan Dia jawab no. One. Oh jelas. Okay, jelas let me go to the next. Okay, there's a way how to tablet your data. Nak jadualkan data. Okay, nak jadualkan data kami hanya dua column saja. Okay, we got two column only. So the first column there sure is manipulate variable. Another one must be responding variable. Okay, so this one just one mark. So from here you can using symbol already because just now I said you introduce in variable. So that means I just can write A. After that CM, then X CM. So from here for the A, okay, because, okay, uh, other soalan kan? Okay, kalau tulis pembaris sahaja tanpa tulis pembaris meter, salah ke? Uh, masih terima. Ada pembaris kami boleh terima. Okay, belajar. Uh, ada okay. pembaris kami masih terima kerana dia boleh ukur. Okay, so kat sini kami pergi uh, tablet data. Yang ni cikgu tadi dah cakap. So you repeated uh, four times is it? So all the reading you repeated you need to mention here. Dua hingga sepuluh. Because this one, they can help you get repeated marks. Okay, some student, they forget to write. Repeated, dia lupa. Dia hanya tulis ulang dengan empat kali uh, uh, bacaan yang tak sama. Okay, they just write like this. Repeated by four value, different value. Okay, but for the table, dia ada tulis. So, this one can help you to get the marks from the repeated. Okay. Jika dua-dua pun tak ada tulis, ah, sorry lah, itu maka memang ditolakkan. Okay, so remember to write uh, the value you go to repeat in the procedure, uh, in the table also, because you get, you just get the last uh, minus your mark, is it? So you write full in your table. For the X, we just empty, because we never do any experiment. So you sim don't simply go to write anything. Okay, so ini, uh, ini ialah satu maka macam mana nak dapat. Uh, yes Okay, uh, for the student, no problem uh. So we continue to the last part That's uh, analyzing Analyzing mean graph Okay, for the analyzing You can just write the sentence Okay, a graph for the MV against RV That's all, okay, you mentioned the MV lah, Distance between the two uh, Vibrating sources And also the distance between two anti nodal line is blocked, it's okay if you do one, you can show about the line. Okay, we show about the axis. Okay, you draw two lines. You show this one RV is what? This one MV is what? With unit. Must be other unit. Lah. So for this one question, we just write like this. Okay, we got A. We got um, X. So X is in CM. There's a responding variable. Then A, we control. There's a manipulate variable. So this one, we just using symbol, then unit. Okay? Don't miss your unit lah. Mesti tulis penuh. Uh, ada soalan ni, Cikgu Kok. Okay. Uh, bahan dengan radas kena asing ke sekali? Uh, biasa kami tulis bersama. Okay? Bahan dan radas kami sekaligus sebagai apparatus. Itu saja. Okay? Faham? Belajar? Faizah? Okay, kami tulis bersama. Uh, apparatus and also the material is together. Kita ada tujuh minit lagi Cikgu Kok. Okay. So ini ialah last untuk analisis. So how to plot? We no need to plot because we don't have any result. So you just draw the axis then we finish. Okay. So pastikan you buy axis betul. So itu ialah jawapan dia. Okay. So ini ialah the last already. So experiment report Untuk paper 3 ni mengambil marka 12. So belajar kena jawab dengan baik-baik. Concentrate dengan chapter 5, form 4, light. Dan juga chapter 1, form 5, there's a wave. Okay, so from here, I got give some of the exercise there. Okay, ini ialah latihan saya sudah bagi link. Okay, belajar boleh rujuk link tersebut untuk downloadkan soalan dia untuk jawab soalan eksperimen juga. Okay. So uh, hari ni saya dah habis dengan presentation saya lah Harap belajar uh, nah, Yang uh, ni je lah link dia Okay, saya tunjuk link kat sini uh, I pun tunjuk kat chat room sana Belajar boleh download 
Okay, so ini ialah apa yang saya nak present pada hari ini. So, terima kasih kepada pelajar-pelajar yang menjawab soalan saya. Okay, terima kasih um, um, moderator yang hari ini. Okay, saya pulang gamat kepada moderator. Alhamdulillah. Okay, eh, selesai sudah majlis ilmu kita pada petang ini. Uh, terima kasih diucapkan kepada Cikgu Kok Simai atas perkongsian yang sangat-sangat menarik tadi. Okay, banyak ilmu yang kita dapat pada petang ini. Tahniah kepada semua pelajar dan penonton yang setia daripada awal sampailah habis kelas ini. Anda semua memang terbaik. Jangan lupa link sijil yang akan diletakkan di ruangan chatting sebentar nanti di mana ada kod aksesnya akan diletakkan di ruangan chatting iaitu hashtag kelas IUEDDIC. Okay, jangan lupa subscribe channel Cikgu Kok Simai. Uh, like dan share lah sekarang ini kepada rakan-rakan yang lain sebagai tanda sokongan kepada Cikgu Kok Simai yang banyak memberikan ilmu kepada kita. Okay, para penonton dan pelajar dikenaki subscribe uh, channel Cikgu Kok kemudian letakkan dan di ruangan chatting. Uh, kita nak lihat berapa ramai yang subs, uh, subscribe Cikgu Kok. Okay, letakkan tanda dan. Okay, barulah link CJ akan diberikan. Okay, link CJ dah diberikan. Okay, pastikan uh, penonton uh, subscribe ya channel Cikgu Kok dan letakkan dan di ruangan chatting tu. Uh, lepas tu kita ada kod access tu untuk masuk ke link CJ iaitu hashtag kelas IUEDD. Okay. Uh, secara ini boleh diulang tonton semula dan boleh juga dilayari di www.academyyoutuber.com untuk mendapatkan info terkini serta jadual kelas tuition percuma ayu. Para pelajar dan penonton juga boleh work atau undi guru-guru kegemaran di portal tersebut. Uh, juga kongsikan portal ayu ini kepada rakan-rakan dan guru-guru seluruh Malaysia. Ingat hashtag bermula percuma selamanya percuma insya Allah. Okey nampak gaknya dah ramai tu yang dan 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 tu. Okey jadi bolehlah nanti selepas saja live uh, buka link CJ ni dan isilah uh, CJ tersebut tapi hanya menggunakan email e-didik sahaja. Okey. Yang baik itu datangnya daripada Allah Subhanahu Okey pelajar dan penonton juga terima kasih kepada rakan-rakan yang bersama cikgu pada petang ini. Okey. Uh, sekian. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kita jumpa lagi di lain siaran. Okey. Bye-bye. Berikutan pengumuman penutupan sekolah sehingga akhir persekolahan pengajaran dan pembelajaran secara home-based learning tetap diteruskan. Oleh itu, kami di Akademi Youtuber menyediakan tuition online percuma pertama di Malaysia dari prasekolah hinggalah ke sekolah menengah dengan kerjasama ADD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Kenapa bayar jika anda boleh dapat percuma? Bermula percuma, selamanya akan percuma. Manfaatkan peluang yang ada. Jangan tunggu lagi, setailah sekarang. Untuk maklumat lanjut, layari www.academyyoutuber.com Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Academy Youtuber